Uh, just got back to my hometown. It's kind of dark. Let's move over here. Okay. Just going to shoot a quick video. I feel like um, my holiday just starts today, and I think it would be a very good idea to use the next two weeks to kind of massively improve myself every day which means I will be doing things like reading, uh, going to the gym, running, be more active and doing more game at the same time also I have to study as well and I feel like Shooting this video is a very good way of making myself more accountable because I will be reporting to you guys every single day. And I just want to talk about um, another another lay, another girl I slept with, or yeah, yesterday. The reason I want to talk about that is because. Um, I feel like because the I feel like I have a massive shift in my identity uh, on that date and also throughout the last couple of years uh, I've never realized I've never really identified myself as the really confident asshole cocky kind of guy but uh, yesterday that girl was telling me you know you're a cocky asshole uh you're a player uh, i think you are too much for me so i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna open up to you i'm not gonna get close with you and all that so i feel like so i feel like a big part of that is a big part of that is because i've never realized i made that massive shift in my identity and this is something that Tyler also talks about as well he talks about how if you shift your the laying in your brain if you start like whatever you identify yourself with that's how your brain is going to uh, that's that's how you're gonna act that's what's gonna dictate your behavior pretty much and this got me thinking because throughout high school I have always identified myself as an outcast and in that and I never, never I wasn't really conscious of that. It's just like oh well I assume no one likes me, I assume I'm down here, everyone else is up there, and I then I make friends with other outcasts, so and that kind of carried with me until today, until at least the last few years. Well, I don't know. I don't know which. I don't know when I have started shifting, but I just realized that, like subconsciously, I was still feeling like I'm an outcast because I was writing down on a piece of paper the other day about um, all my childhood trauma. And the word outcast came out, so I guess that just made me realize that, you know, I have, my identity is, part of my identity is still that of an outcast. And I realized I need to consciously shift, shift that to someone who is, you know, part of the group, someone who's, um, with strong leadership qualities and that's not hard it doesn't sound like a hard thing it just takes time for you to realize that you have identified yourself with identify yourself as an outcast and I'm sure uh, most guys who get into game will have some kind of similar sticking points where they never really identify themselves as the cool kids because I know that back then I really wanted to become one of those cool kids that want to become the group that knows all the other stuff and I would sacrifice my own sense of humor, my own kind of uniqueness 
in order to fit into the group. And that's crazy because uh, as you get older, you realize that uh, most people don't want a sheep. They want someone who is unique. They want someone who has their own sense of humor and their own kind of craziness. The kind of, kind of weird, weirdness. That's why I kind of like weird people, but not too weird that I can relate. And that's also another point you have to take into it, is that you can be you can be quote unquote weird, but you gotta be you gotta still make everything win win. You have to make uh, the other person feel like uh, they're getting value by interacting with you. But that doesn't mean you be a nice guy. You know, compromise yourself all that it just means that you need to figure out your own uniqueness you kind of need to develop that and it takes time it can be frustrating uh, and what I suggest is that you know don't look at your day-to-day -day actions look at your overall behavior in a big chunk of time like in six like review your behavior six months ago or a year ago two years ago and you realize how much you've grown and this will motivate you to get better not bitter I mean I remember that you know actually I could have a bad you know rejection with girls and tomorrow I could have a really good interaction with girls and maybe even get together with them so it's kind of random like your own personal development kind of goes up and down every day like you could be very on time to work and go to the gym hustle hard uh, get a lot of work done in the first couple of weeks but when that willpower runs out you might kind of slack off a bit for a couple of days but then you realize you slack off and you get back onto it and you keep moving up again so it's always up and down up and down don't don't beat yourself up and that's another thing too, beating yourself up. Beating yourself is such a big thing. Uh, I realized kind of yesterday that uh, most people beat themselves up way more than they criticize other other people. And that's and to me, that's something that okay, how you see the world is how you treat other people is actually a reflection of how you treat yourself. So if you see someone who's very critical of another, of like random strangers, or someone who is very judgmental, then that's just a reflection of how you judge yourself. You, those people tend to judge themselves real hard, and to get rid of that, you need to do, um, you need to hand, you need to handle both sides of the coin. You need to stop judging others, be non-judgmental, that's very hard. That doesn't mean you don't have an opinion, it means you try to understand um, different perspectives. I think most people think non-judgmental is, you know, don't say mean things to other people, be nice, and all that, all that kind of mainstream, mainstream ideas about being non-judgmental. But I think being non-judgmental just means that you you understand, you're more empathetic, you understand what other people want and why they do certain things. And when you do put yourself in another person's shoes, you will realize that okay, it actually actually makes sense why they do certain things. It actually makes sense why some people steal, why some people do drugs, why some people are more driven, why some people are more successful. It makes sense if you uh, the angles from their perspectives so it's never really black and white but anyway uh, just got back to this beautiful place blue sky kind of cold yeah that'll be good to shoot a video outside and I think I'm gonna do these kind of videos more uh, outside it's kind of challenge myself to kind of face judgment from other people I mean I always have this kind of I'm always kind of scared of putting myself out there 
and doing videos in my room is fine it's actually no pressure but when you're doing outside it kind of helps you to realize that uh and no one really and no one really no one people's people are always going to judge you no one really cares they're going to judge you but how you handle the judgment is what's important and that's another another big epiphany i had a couple of days ago uh about judgments people can always judge you people will always judge you and there's nothing you can change about that there's absolutely nothing you can influence their judgment but what you can change what you can control is how you react to them and that doesn't just mean uh, what you say in response or what you do it just means how you feel it means uh, be more aware of how you feel when you are being judged and kind of look back to any childhood any childhood um, trauma you had that causes a similar reaction because that's just what I notice um, whenever you're feeling tense or kind of stifled or it's feeling bad there's always a childhood events that trigger that condition you to feel that way and if you want to be more present to the moment be more non-reactive you have to figure out which events causes you to have that reaction then do a breathing exercise to kind of let go of that energy and uh, I might link that breathing exercise down there below and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow <laughs>